This is a brief review of Smart Reloader's SR215 electronic earmuffs that were sold on uh, GearHog about two weeks ago for $13.49. At the time, didn't find any other reviews on YouTube or really online of them, so just want to show how they look and a error I believe that was either in making them or in the instruction manual. So if you open up the package, you've got your earmuffs. down just like that. They adjust from the sides, slide down as big as they'll go, each side maybe an inch and a half. Controls and mic are on one side, the other side just has the wire coming down through it. Um, I haven't tried them out yet. Uh, they take two AAA batteries. I did power them up and they seem to work. You got on and then the farther you turn it to the right, the louder the sounds around you will get. Uh, comes with a pretty short manual. Now, in the manual, they describe opening it up and getting the batteries in. Uh, they say that you can use a coin in a... Um, Use a coin in the provided slot at the bottom of the ear cup to pry the ear cushion assembly. Now, in both of mine, there is no slot here to pry the ear cup assembly open. I actually had to make one, so just open these tonight. This pair I hadn't opened before. Here's the other pair I got. It actually has some scuffing from wherever it was made. I didn't do that. But uh, I was able to make my own slot, so um, I'll pop them open for you so you can see what they look like on the inside. So I just have a wire opener here, just kind of do that. I'll extend this one down, and you'll see. This comes off as one unit. At first I was kind of looking at the cushion. I thought maybe that came off, but it doesn't. It's the plastic. And then you'll remove the foam. And uh, there's your two triple A's in your circuit board that powers this earmuff. So, you just put the foam back. And, uh, Snap it back in. And there you go. So, there's about 570 people I saw that bought these off GearHog. I'm wondering if anyone else had an issue like this, but I mean, pretty much just popped it off and used a simple file just to wear it on the plastic so you can get a coin or a knife like I just used or whatever you want to use to pop it open. Uh, didn't get to shoot with them yet, but when I do, I'll uh, post an addition or extend the video just to have some comments or post some comments on how well I think they work.